you know what it is. This this world script was it was written a long time ago. It's not like they're they're not calling audibles. Behind the scenes, their hearts are changing into audibles. But the script has been written and it will be fulfilled all the way through. The way I'm feeling about how things are happening is... Well, it's true. It's going to happen. But they were playing this out as if the Trump storm begins. Steve Fletcher, 222. They were playing this out regardless, right? And... It was going to be like a it's, a, it's like a, a fairy tale ending. It's the way that all the movies are basically made. In the end, the good guy wins, the bad guy loses. It's, I mean, it's, it's in the, it's in the cartoons. It's, you know, Bugs Bunny, he's constantly getting chased by Elmer Fudd that's trying to shoot him with his gun and. It always backfires. So they were actually going to play this out regardless. And then Trump was going to be the good guy in the end. Because he was going to stand upon his feet like a, like a man from being an eagle, right? So all of these things were already going to take place. But they were going to act this out. The beauty of the reality of life with the way things are and the way they're going to be is the end result by playing out the Bible's end time prophecy with the elite trying to establish their vision right the end result is their vision fails but they were already playing this out so how did that fail how do they fail if Trump's the good guy in the end and America becomes great again? That's not a failure of the vision. But that wouldn't be the elite's vision. Their vision failed because they were going to play this thing out and pretend, act, as if they actually have the heart and the mindset that we actually have. That part failed because it failed miserably. Because they were going to act this thing out without a heart. Without God changing their heart. They get to act it out all the way to the very end. And their heart has already been changed. Their vision failed because they were expecting to get through this whole entire thing with an evil heart. It failed, but they already know what the next steps are. They already know what's next after this. After the shutdown, after the revival, after the three days of darkness. They already know what they're going to do. It's just... Now they actually, by doing that, they fulfill Bible prophecy because Bible prophecy will be fulfilled. They've surveilled and scanned all of social media looking for truth. Trump is saying it. He's all for climate change. He is all for it, especially with crystal clear water and clear air he wants climate change it's in the script it's written he's now feeling what he 
is acting. This is what the best part for them for them is. The ones that, the, like Steve, all of your people, they're feeling what they are acting. They were acting without feeling. Towards the end, they're still acting, but now they're feeling how they're acting, which becomes reality, which makes the Bible come true. At which, that's why Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. And, but, you know, the whole world's not going to know um, the true inside, like the guts of what's happening. They're not going to know that, but they're going to see, like, the results of the world. They're just not going to truly experience it. Christ came as a thief in the night for them. When you're acting out this role as an actor, and then it comes to life, it, like the Bible is coming to life in the in the elite's hearts, the ones that are playing, not all of them, just the ones that, the most important ones that need to... Um, that need to, to have that heart change, they get to experience the Bible coming true after they didn't believe the Bible was true. After their vision, has, they already know their vision is failing because their heart already changed. They thought they were going through this purely evil. They come out on the other end where God took their stony heart out of their chest and gave them, you know, like the heart of an animal because animals are pure. They're just pure. They're pure, evil or good. It's pure. It's it's what it is. It's the, it's evil to go and chase after another animal and tear it apart with your teeth. I mean, it looks evil, but that's their nature. That's just that's like the Luciferian coming out when it needs to come out, and then the Christ set on down like the lamb. It's, it's, that comes out when it needs to come out. But in the meantime, the animal is just in the in its existence right then and there without any thoughts of before or after. They have memory because they can remember what you say and they remember who you are, but they don't sit there and contemplate on things like we do. I get to experience this on my end. I get to see what I see, know it's going to take place, know that there's going to be proof that it does take place afterwards, but before it does, ridicule, mocking, and scoffing. Yeah, I'm the one mocking you. you know, I'm the one that came out here mocking all of the inns. So I've learned how to dish it out and take it. On YouTube, with being mocked and um, attacked and everything, I've learned, I've learned it by watching you. So it's a, it's a strengthening thing too, like, as the Bible is being played out, because they wanted to establish their vision, and that's fine. That's fine. There's still some that are playing and acting, but they're not, see, they're not feeling it. They're still lost, they're still blind. They have to be, they have to continue to play this thing out. You know, here's what's going on with these, with the, here's, I'm gonna sum this thing up with, with the scripts being written and how Trump is is reading them and saying them and how Steve is doing it. Obviously, when you're talking, you have in mind the ones that believe you, even though, um, like, Trump, okay? He has in mind the people that believe him as to who he is, just regular guy, whoever he is, then the people that believe that he's the Messiah, aiming towards them, so you get the people that know who what he's doing inside now. He's talking to them. They already know. They know the deal. Then you got the ones that have no idea and they think he's the Messiah. Then you got the ones that are in the middle, lukewarm. Lukewarm. The ones that are hot or cold, the ones that are cold that don't know anything, they're going to be fine. The ones that are hot and they already know the truth and turn from it, they're going to be fine. The ones that are lukewarm, in between... He's talking to you as well. And those are the ones that were promised everything that we are going to inherit 
by telling the damn truth. And the truth is going to be just exploding out there. After this show's over, after everything, at the curtain call, the sun drop. Okay, bow to your head. Nice show. All right, now let's get back to business, and um, and let's clean house. Everything's shut down. Man, it's such a perfect, perfect plan. For the, the for those that know God's plan, man, how great is this feeling that you have right now? You know God's plan inside and out. Because you know the truth and you've turned from it. But now you get to experience the Bible actually coming true. There is more to this life, Steve, than what we're in right now. And it's a reset. And it's the greatest thing that we're ever going to experience. But the people that are promised and they're stuck and all they got to do is just continue to lie and just do what's easy. Just, just be a flat out liar. Pretend you love Christ. Pretend, pretend, pretend. And then, for the ones that have been pretending, and then they, they've been assigned to my channel over these past few years, and then all of a sudden, you start to like be like not pretending as much lately. And then all of a sudden, you're like kind of being more real with your surroundings. And then it's like you're kind of tired of lying. At, and it's like you're now you're just like disgusted with liars, and you came on my channel as the biggest freaking liar, working for the biggest liar on planet Earth. This is how it, this is how this thing has has changed. The ones that have, are experiencing it, you know what I'm talking about, and you get the you just get to experience it. The ones that don't know, you'll experience it afterwards, and you'll wish you experienced it beforehand to enjoy. The greatest part about it is experiencing it now, and it's completely unseen. Like, I have no script, nothing. Just outside, looking in. Everybody on the inside that has a script, the same thing that I'm saying is going to happen, is actually happening in their script. So they get to see that part, that two different worlds, man. I'm on this world over here, and I'm up here in my world. And I, when I talk to people, i got to step out of my world and step into their world so I can have a conversation with them. Other than that, I'm up here in this world, and it, it just exists, and it's it's as clear as day, man. It, it there's a it's it's heaven. That's what it is. It's it's heaven is already there, and you can experience it, and you can you can literally create your own goosebumps. Like when you can create your own goosebumps, do you know how powerful your mind is that you can actually create something in your body to start feeling just by thoughts alone which means vice versa if if you're if you're demonically uh, possessed you can beat yourself down and feel like shit and make yourself sick it's your mind do what you want with it I'm just trying to help you shape it so we can see what's happening and and with with the scripts being written on TV and what Trump's saying is they give you all of the information. Everything true, everything lie. They will relate to the people that they need to relate to many different types of spirits that they're talking to. Whatever you pick up on is is what kind of spirit you are. That's how they know, that's how they separate the wheat from the tares. Look, the elite are in charge, right? But the, which are the Jews? The Jews, okay? Don't forget this. The, the Jew, the literal Jews, you know, that are representing Israel, the Israelites, Israelites are turning back to God. Their hearts are turning back to God. So they are the ones in high places. 144,000, man. It's where they are. It's where they are. I don't know if all of them are there. I'm just saying, like, a lot of them are there, and that's the whole purpose: is to to have eyes throughout the entire world. Being you guys, you guys are the surveillors. There's a there's quite a few of you over in the that branch of the CIA, and some more over in the branch of the NSA, and that one over there. And 
that branch over there in the FBI, there's a few of you over there, there's a few of you here, there's a few of you there, there, here, there, there. You all communicate and you all pay attention to social media. What you get the experience is the Bible prophecy coming true. You'll see it. You're going to see it. To experience it now before it happens, well, I can only tell you this. It's the greatest feeling I've ever had. Because I know that this, these moments here shapes the future. And the future is how I see it. That's why I try to um, I try my best to get my feelings through your brain so you can so you can experience go ahead man you gotta go so you can experience the, the, the moment the moments now before we get there and then even if you can't I'm saying it now because even though there's a, there's a there's either a wall or there's just you can't see the vision so you're not supposed to but you will and then when you do see it and you do experience it you remember you remember you remember how how I worded everything before and after before graduation after graduation becoming a father you were you were only a son and then now you're a father because it, your son was born there's the birth, the birthing. So when that birth takes place, it it just it, it'll birth more uh, spirits of of remembrance. Like you're gonna remember that and how it was and how how the world is and how I had at absolutely not one promise by anybody on planet Earth. I don't know how many people are going to experience that feeling before, but I know I am, and I know that the watchers are the ones that watch. I know Steve's experiencing it. I know Donald Trump's experiencing it. Jonathan Kleck is not experiencing it. He's He doesn't talk like them. He, he just doesn't talk like that. He is similar, but he doesn't sound the way that they talk and there's and there's just more there's more discernment over there and at the at the camp of the saints right but see trump is telling you this uh they're going to camp david camp david that's where you guys are watching the show camp david you guys you're not going underground the ones that are invited to camp david but he's telling you he's going with Camp, Camp David. He's telling me he's going with Camp David. He's telling those that were promised life and liberty, we're going to Camp David to watch this. Stand. But we're really going with Camp David. That's how they're talking. You need to pick it up. You either need to pick it up or put it the hell down, one or the other. Trump said it before. Fake news media won't tell you this, but we love you. Oh, and Trump, he has put in very, very good word for those two prisoners over in China. I mean, he put in a really, really good word for those two prisoners over there in China. He's looking for clean water and clean air. When the airwaves are clear, crystal clear, and the water that proceeds out of your mouth is like flowing rivers of water that is nonstop, and it's crystal clear, you see straight to the bottom, you see the fish swimming around. You don't even have to catch them anymore because the water's clear. You can clearly see what they're doing, where they're going. 
No more dirty fish. Man. Today's December 3rd, 2019. Seven more days. Trump's letting you know about the two weeks also. The two week Democrats, they make a big deal about it, the fussing about the two week thing, and then and then they go away for two weeks. Here comes strike one, here comes strike two, Robin. Christmas to the third of January. Man, great earthquake. Trump is, is you know, he's gonna disappear, his plane's gonna fall from the skies. We're at asteroids, fallen stars. I mean, just complete destruction. The earth is coming to an end. We're all going to die. The sun disappears. It doesn't rise. It, it lights out for three days. Lights out. Power. Lights out. It's lights out truth. It's lights out power. It's lights out sun. And then it's the fourth kingdom. The ones that know better, it's lights out, delete the elite. 